Juneteenth by Ralph Ellison, published by Random House. I became aware of Juneteenth, a national holiday celebrated on June 19th, some years ago. The holiday marks the date that slavery was ended in the United States. On June 19th, 1865, federal agents arrived in Galveston, Texas to free all the enslaved people in the state. The Emancipation Proclamation was issued a few years earlier by President Abraham Lincoln on January 1st, 1863. Although the intention of the proclamation was that enslaved people should be freed, the proclamation was severely limited because it only addressed suspicious states that were opposing the Northern United States and the U.S. Civil War. On June 17, 2021 of this year, Juneteenth, June 19th, was signed into law to officially become a federal holiday. Juneteenth is also the title of a novel that was written by Ralph Ellison and published after the author's death in 1999 by Random House. Ralph Waldo Ellison was a critical thinker and writer about race and history in the United States. He wrote many essays and criticism, but only published two novels. His important novel, The, the Invisible Man, was published in 1952. His novel, Juneteenth, was edited and published with his notes after his death in 1994. In the introduction, Ellison's colleague and the editor of Juneteenth John F. Kellyanne writes that Juneteenth is a novel of liberation, literally a celebration of June 19th, 1865, the day two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation was decreed when Union troops landed in Galveston, Texas, and their commanding officer told the weeping, sharing slaves that they were free. The delay, of course, is symbolic acknowledgement that liberation is a never-ending task of self, group, and nation, and that to endure, liberation must be self-achieved and self-achieving. In this novel, Ellison, who took part in more than one Juneteenth ramble as a boy in Oklahoma, speaks of false as well as true liberation and of the courage required to tell the difference. Since this book is hard to read, I approached it like a mystery. When it opens, a white racist senator from the South it surprises an event that renders him a dying man. As he lays dying, he reviews his childhood when he was an orphan boy raised by a Black community that he ran away from. The mystery to me was how did this man become an outspoken racist? If this fictional character were alive today, he would have been one of the few politicians who voted against making Juneteenth an official holiday. In the book, Ellison delves into the heart of America, where the main character, who as a boy was called Bliss, is seduced by the culture that teaches him that racism makes him more important, more important and will be financially profitable for him. Along the way, Allison offers the reader such gems of wisdom as uttered by the older black man, a minister, who took him under his wing when the senator was a child. 
but you had a choice, Liz. You had a, do a chance to join up to be a witness for either side, and you let yourself be filled up. You try to go with those who raise the failure of love above their heads like a flag and say, see here, I am now a man. You wanted to be with those who turn coward before their strongest human need and then say, look here, I'm brave. The relationship between the older black man named Hickman the visit center on his deathbed is explained by Ralph Ellison's notes, which are published in the end of the book. Hickman despises the man, but loves a boy whom the man had been. As he sits with the dying man, Hickman ruminates. Why can't they face the simple fact that you simply can give one bunch of men the license to kill another bunch without punishment, without opening themselves up to being victims, the high as well as the low. Why can't they realize that when they dull their senses to the killing of one group of men, they dull themselves to the preciousness of all human life? Reading Juneteenth by Ralph Ellison gave me a deeper insight into the heart of America, the place where American racism and the root of all oppression is located. This is Janet Mason with reviews for Booktube.